high, we're up to number 18 of the 48 ways, the miyu tanu, which means to minimize pleasure. It's really about harnessing the power of the physical pleasure. You know, when you have too much physical pleasure, too much food, too much, too many potato chips, too many peanuts, too much ice cream, ah, uh, it's a wipeout. Too little, you know, you want more, but you have to learn how to get the right amount and control it and use it for a higher goal. So tanu, minimize pleasure, is really about harnessing, stay away from too much. You want it, but learn how to use it in the right way to increase your pleasure and energy in life. And really, the Gemara, the Talmud says, that if a person had an opportunity to taste a new fruit and refuse to do so, then who will ha he will have to account for that in the world to come. Meaning that God gives us these pleasures in this world. Like fruit is obviously a dessert. It's for our pleasure. And if we don't take the pleasure, we're going to have to account for it. Which means we really believe in having physical pleasure. That's not the end game. But we believe that you need it in order to be energized in life. And actually, the rabbis say that when a person is very old and they have few pleasures in this world, they should sit in the sun to make sure to enjoy the sun because it will give them pleasure and a good feeling or else people tend to become sour when they get older. This is a way to, to remember that the physical pleasure will increase your enjoyment of overall life. So, you know, we all have this dilemma that uh, we got involved with a bag of potato chips or a bunch of peanuts, or again, or ice cream, and we eat and we eat and eat. What was the, which potato chip was the one where we lost our pleasure? Now, how much of the ice cream, when did it become not pleasurable, indulgent, or the peanuts. We got involved and we lost track that we're having this physical pleasure to have pleasure. But when you have too much, we lose it. So the greatest tool that we can have, that we have to make sure that we're enjoying our pleasure is our mind. If we focus our mind on what the actual pleasure is. What is the pleasure of the the food of the sun you know what is, what is that pleasure and we need to focus and really really enjoy it but we have to use our mind and not just become animals in order to really enjoy it and one test that we can use a self-test is to say to know if we're having pleasure is does it wipe me out or give me pleasure after a meal do we feel energized or do we feel wiped out and i've always found uh, for a while i was going into restaurants and i was ordering and i looked at the amount they gave me is this too much too little i mean how much why should they decide what is my portion i should really decide on the portion that's going to give me the most pleasure Two interesting stories. One, as I know a guy, I don't want to mention his name, um, a friend, a mentor, lives in Los Angeles. I won't give away the name. He didn't, he is in his 70s, and he told me that he didn't gain a pound since he was married. He said, everybody gains weight. What are you kidding me? How can it be that you didn't gain? He said, I have a yearly plan what I'm going to eat, and I eat everything that I'm going to enjoy. Everything I enjoy in food, I'm gonna have in the year. So how's it how's it work? So he told me that he loves, I think it was cream and strawberries, and he has that twice a year. Pizza twice a year. I don't know if I have all the all of it down, but every single food, potato chips, when he travels, when he has yum to circus comes or pays like a week of, of eating, he says they're gonna gain five pounds, seven pounds, whatever, but then he knows that afterwards is going to restrict his diet so that he will lose that weight after a few weeks or a month. And that's how he enjoys his life. And he's really a disciplined guy. 
I'll tell you a story about my rabbi, my rabbi, Rabbi Noah Weimer, Rabbi Noah. And I, he was alive. Uh, my office was next to him in New York, and I used to be with him. So occasionally he would say, can you go out and get me some fruit drinks? I said, Rebbe, so tell me, what do you want? You know, he said, just give me a variety of things. So I'd come back with mango, and peach, and <laughs> strawberry. And he would go through it and taste a few. And he would just savor that sip of, I think it was the mango that he really liked. Wow, look at that flavor, the taste. That, ah. And he would just enjoy it. Now, I had to go out and get some to enjoy myself. So before we need, before we indulge in physical pleasure, we need to define how much and stick to it. Because often when we get into the, the physical pleasure, we get carried away. You know, emotional eating is a big thing. I emotionally eat, you know, many people who do. We think it's a reward. We think it's going to make us feel good, but it doesn't. You know, they say they should feel your feelings, you know, not cover them up with the food. So really this way is about harnessing the power of physical pleasure. So I'd like to suggest that for the next week, take three physical pleasures that you enjoy and use your mind to understand and to appreciate what is the pleasure and really enjoy it. Have a good day. If you enjoyed this 48 Ways, please share it. Please visit my website, barofabinowitz.com.